Thanks, Kristen and Cody. Okay, I've got a, a writing question um, delivered to us by and from Kyle Masters from All Elite Podcast. Cody, we have seen you and Darby go at it before in an AEW in an, in an AEW ring and put on a great match. Is there anything different this time around in preparation, maybe, that you're doing a little bit different to get ready for Darby? I had a conversation with Jim Ross yesterday about Darby. Who is Darby going to be in the future for, for AEW? Where does he play? And how it's, it's a tough draw for him to be in there with me when I'm still on the climb up on this roller coaster. This run I've gone on is genuinely unexpected. And I can't apologize for my own hard work. I'm very excited about it. It's what I've dreamed of my whole life. Uh, but this is a very different Darby. This is Darby who now has experience uh, with John Moxley. Uh, this is a Darby who is, who is not bewildered by the big lights of this anymore. Darby is one of the most dedicated wrestlers at AEW. Uh, he doesn't party. He doesn't politic. He consistently thinks of his own brand and how his brand can lean in to the AEW brand. He is a loner, but I don't think he realizes he's also a leader because of how he leads by example. When this match was brought up to me, it's already a vastly different match because I'm dealing with a different Darby and you're dealing with a different me. I gained 14 real pounds during my hiatus and I'm continuing the bulking cycle through full gear all the way to revolution. So Darby is now in there with a full-fledged heavyweight. And Darby, the longer this goes, the more in, this, in his favor this match will, will be because he's got the, the, the lighter, you know, the lighter body weight, the, the lighter body fat composition. But I think your, your hot dog is not going to get cold for this match. Darby has not been able to beat me on three occasions. I don't think this will be any different. I don't mean to undersell my own match. I, I, I'm not looking past Darby, but I think there were other challengers that could have stepped up. And if Darby is the one, uh, if he's not going to bend the knee again, then I'll stand corrected on that. I'm very proud of Darby. I said on the air last night, I solely recruited him when no one else wanted him. Uh, so I'm glad to have him in this match. I'm not looking past him at all.